See, sometimes Jesus has to walk us toward the very thing bringing us pain. Now, I, I know we like to run. I know we like to reinvent ourselves. There's a, there's a, there's a thing that happens now in this generation called ghosting, where, where if someone brings you pain, you just cut them off like they never lived. And make you make and holy ghosting, like you said, means we go back and we repair breaches. You you cannot sever your psyche. You can't sever your emotions. You 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 can't just cut it and think you can move on. I I I, I I'm so troubled by a generation that has not learned how to deal with conflict and disappointment. Instead, they think they can cut off part of their heart and move on like it never happened. And that your body will wear the weight of that disappointment, that hurt, that pain, and that rejection. We have to learn how to deal with the pain of our past. Otherwise, it continues to live and rot and stink on the inside of us. You can't just move. You have to be able to process and move through it and move on. And in order to do that, you have to go toward it and face it and deal with it. Sometimes we feel like I can just run from it. I can just run from this pain. If I move to a new city, then I can just start over again. Friend, you can't. You take it with you. Your body bears the weight of your internal struggle, and you cannot move away from yourself. You are the sum total of your experiences. And so we need to be able to travel back toward those things so we can see healing. The teachings of Jesus are so powerful because they're so multi-layered. He's not just a good teacher. He is the way, the truth, and the life. Yes, towards the afterlife, but the here and now, He teaches us how to be healthy. He tells us, listen, when you're, when you're so mad at somebody, you want to kill them, what you need to do is look at them and forgive. Why? You've got to heal that internal anger. The only way to do that is to release it to Jesus. It may take you a thousand times to forgive that person before your heart is no longer bitter toward them. But bitterness is swallowing poison and hoping someone else gets sick. We have to forgive so that we can be healed. Sometimes we need to bless people we don't like. The lesson that God has taught me time and again, that we have to bless people in our comings and our goings. And we have to release people without gossip. This is a way of healing. But Jesus will cause us to walk toward our fears so that we see there's nothing there that really can harm us. Let me be very honest with you right now, and I don't know who this is for, the, the, the danger in the, the, the toxic nature of ghosting, of what people are calling cancel culture to cut people off, is we dehumanize them, and we don't stay connected long enough to be healed of that trauma, and then it haunts us like a ghost. And so Jesus sometimes in our greatest fears, the very thing we fear the most is we get closer to Jesus. He brings people into our mind we don't want to think about. He brings situations in our minds that we don't think about. He brings that stack of bills in our mind that we don't want to think about. And he says, listen, I know you don't have the money to pay this bill, but you need to call them at least. And you're terrified to make that call. And Jesus is like, you need to connect with those you're fearful of, to see that the calamity you're fearful of is not actually there. 